all right guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to change a door actuator on a 2004 honda pilot i'm having a problem with my car door a remote will not work anymore to unlock and lock the car i have to use the key so this little actuator right here is going to solve this problem all right let me get some tools and then we're going to start doing it okay guys we're going to start taking the door panel off towards the end i'll line up the tools and let you know what we needed to get this job completed basically we're prying the door panel off it has just push in um i guess you want to call it little fasteners that just pop in and then once we loosen it up we'll unplug all the wiring off the back of the door panel just to show everybody it pops right off with these little fasteners right here all the door window switches this has to be unplugged you got, I think it was three plugs. One, two, three. And today, we're utilizing a magnetic wrist strap so we don't lose any screws that we're taking off the door panel. Door panel is off. All the wiring is unplugged and out of the way. Take off the cover. Also, while you're doing all of this, you want to make sure that your window is up and out of your way. Otherwise, the glass would be in front of the mechanism. So in order to get the mechanism out, we're going to use what's called an impact screwdriver. I would think without an impact screwdriver, you probably ain't going to get those screws out. So if you don't have that, I would invest in one of these. I'll put it in the link below. Harbor Freight. So uh, yeah, either Harbor Freight or Amazon. A few stores, I'm sure, carry it. Home Depot, Lowe's. All right, so we got the mechanism off and now we're going to change this piece right here off the mechanism it's not easy to take out i'll tell you that you got to take your time so you don't break anything that's for sure and kind of remember where everything goes back it's a little complicated this one all yeah. you really got to do take is a take picture. this screw off lift this up by the other one in yeah another thing yeah, we'll always get... make sure you take a picture before you take it apart definitely the spring here mm -hmm. A lot of stuff going on. I think you should get like a little blanket just in case a spring comes out. We can move some of this stuff out of the way. Put down. Alright. Now. Okay, that's good. Now the other side. You got it. Now the other side. I'll hold this one up so that don't go back. And there we go. Sit. So just like that, it looks like it has a keyway. So we just got to make sure that keyway goes. Is the keyway lined up in there? Oh, you got to flip no, it back. No, not all the way yet. Oh, this one is. No, hang on, is it lined up? Yeah, there it is. There you go. Watch out. Okay, that's in. This in. Now flip it this way. There you have it. It's not for the fainted heart. I'll tell you that. <laughs> now, basically, got to put it back. We got the new actuator in there, and now we're gonna put it back in to the door. If you want, I can decide to put this screw. Screw, screw. Oh, yeah, 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 but for us, you gotta make sure you connect the wire. Yeah, I guess. But you can make that magnet by dragging that one into it, right? Now try it. Oh, little trick. You wanna make your screw screwdriver magnetic, take a magnet, slide it up and down, and you got yourself a magnetic screwdriver. You can see that. Yeah, put these three screws in now. Oh, don't forget that the rod. Yeah, you gotta like send it that way. Press it in. There you go. Now you feel. There we go. Voila. Okay, so we got the mechanism back in. We got all the rods screwed in. We got the track screwed in. We got the rod for the door handle in. And we're gonna finish putting it together and see if it works. All right. Plug it in the actuator. There's a small you know plug and a large plug that plugs in. Nice. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 All right, let's finish doing that. All right, so we got everything in here. So let's see when we put it back. All right, don't forget you gotta put that thing in. Door panel.
Better make sure you put the handle back in before you put the door panel, otherwise you can't get the rod back. Okay, now we're trying to get everything lined up on the door panel. Getting this piece lined up, getting the handle lined up. Okay, so putting it back together, there's a screw up here. You can see right there, there's a screw hidden up under here, under the handle. And you got two screws behind here on your top handle. And you have to line up right here. The rest of everything else just pops back in. Three screws right here, which we use the impact screwdriver. I will shut the door. You shut the door. Let's get the key. When you open it, the key is Let me nice. see. Let me try. But that works. Was I checked before? Oh, there we go. I want to see if it'll lock and beat like it used to. All right, it looks like another job well done. Everything's working, remote works again. New actuator installed. It's a little difficult to remember where everything goes, so definitely take pictures and remember where everything was because you'll be scrambling later trying to figure that one out. We are done. See, everything's back in place. We're all good. We're all good. Ever, thank you for the help. Hey, no we always problem. can use another helper. Anytime. For anyone who was interested, that's what it looks like inside the actuator. So it looks like probably that little motor right here blew out because the gears are all good. Everything else looks okay. And when you have a problems with your actuators, when your heat is not working on high, is because this little teeth breaks an actuator and that makes it not work. Okay. Everyone, this is the tools utilized to put the actuator in. You had your impact screwdriver, regular screwdriver, Phillips screwdrivers. Some of the small uh, regular screwdriver I used it to uh, pry off some of the panels. Uh, we have a little magnet here, extension magnet, small magnet because we lost some screws inside the door during the install. And I just used a hammer to, uh, to hit the impact to get the uh, three large Phillips off of the lock. And that's it. That's what it takes. Okay, everyone. Now for a quick episode of What's in Your Garage. I'm going to show you here a little bench vise. Good for holding things when you're working. I got it uh, spray painted with some Italian flag colors on it just to give it a little, uh, it was a little bit beat up back in the day. It was red. Many years of use out of this thing. Got to make sure you bolt it down. It's like an extra pair of hands in a garage when you're doing something, all right? So that's it for what's in your garage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button below. And until next time, take care, stay safe in that garage.